Welcome to Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. Today, when is it time to switch a racket, but is it better to just stick with what you got? I'll explain a little bit more. Stay tuned. All right, coffee sponsor of today is Ticos, T-I-C-O-S, who just bought me a coffee. Um, he didn't share anything. So thank you so much, uh, Ticos. I appreciate you hooking me up with the coffee this morning. If you want to be my coffee sponsor of the day, network is buymeacoffee.com forward slash tennis spin. You want to just hook up the channel, super thanks is the way, link is below. Thank you so, so much. Okay, so I'm going to read you this because this actually happens more than not. Um, and then I'll, I'll explain in a minute. Okay, so it's from Leah. Leah writes, I'm having trouble finding a good racket for my junior daughter 16 years old she currently uses a head speed s from 2018 and needs a little more static weight and swing weight she's tried several rackets that she loves on the ground strokes but cannot serve like she can with her speed s she liked the gravity mp but it's just a little too heavy on the serve she didn't like the current speed MP at all due to high swing weight. I have found the head prestige MP light, the gravity MP light, and the speed MP light, but cannot try them anywhere or have very limited options to even buy them in the US. She plays an all court game leaning towards the flatter strokes. I think I could modify her current racket but would like to go with a less powerful frame. Any suggestions of what to try? Thanks for your help. Okay. So I get um, customers, friends like this, um, maybe once or twice a month. They go through a demo program. They try out everything that they could possibly try out and you know there there's always something that that just isn't working you know serve is usually number one um, volley is usually number two um, you know I don't have a backhand I can't you know it doesn't feel right so uh, in a lot of cases like this I suggest I mean, I know the, the MP, you know, would probably be the natural choice because it is the next heavier frame from the Speed S. Um, but not everybody should go up in weight and smaller in the head. I mean, for somebody like Leah's daughter here, I would just suggest getting the new Speed S, which is now called the Speed Team. The frame will be a little stiffer. Uh, to gain control, you string it up, let's try two pounds tighter first, um, maybe alter the strings a little bit and see how it goes from there. If she needs more static weight, I would just add a little static weight but to you know change her out after let's say four years because I racket this from 2018 uh, is difficult it's difficult you you can't uh, and, and it takes time like people who've had rackets for that long it's hard to kind of get them out of their comfort zone uh, especially certain types of people I'm one of them, so I get it. Uh, it's easier to just work with what they have. 
and I'm suggesting getting the newer version of her racket and seeing how it goes first and then start to tweak it a little bit. So add weight to the head, maybe minor weight, minor weight, couple grams here and there in the head, um, in the throat, and maybe in the handle, like maybe a couple grams in each place. So six, maybe six total grams to start and then go with um, strings that are a little tighter for the control since it's a new frame and it's gonna be stiffer. Then you wouldn't lose too much on you know, the serve because she was saying that you know, the serve wasn't working with uh, these other rackets because of the, the total weight um, and then the smaller head too. So sometimes it's just easier if you just you know, stick with what you got and work with it. I mean, I did that with uh, my Wilson 4.4s, um, mid, mid pluses, the 95s. I mean, that, that rack is 9.9 .9 ounces before strings. I mean, I weighted it up to about 13.3. You know, because as I played with it, I just kept adding weight and adding weight until I couldn't add weight anymore. And I felt comfortable with the racket the way it was. Didn't need to be changed too much um, after a while. And, but it was the same racket because, well, the one key factor is it felt the same, right? When you pull out a different racket, when you do, go with an MP, Go with a gravity, go with an MP light, um, radical, they will all feel a little different. Like the way the ball comes off the strings won't feel the same, the launch angle won't feel the same, where the ball contacts the racket on your serve won't feel the same. Um, it, it's just all these factors that we kind of take for granted when we've been using a racket for a while. So that's what I'm saying. In some cases, it's just easier for you to just stick with the racket that you have, um, buy the new version and modify it to, you know, what you think you would like and how you would like it. Okay. So sometimes it ain't greener on the other side, guys, as people say. The grass ain't greener on the other side. Guys, thank you for watching Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. Coach Rob, it's a little cold. I'm freezing, Harry. Keep moving your feet. <laughs> and it's dark. Ooh, I can't then, barely see. Then you better not miss, Harry, because then you're going to get colder. <laughs> Here we go. Ooh. Ooh, gosh. All right. Do you want that pro that will make you play in the dark? Make you play in the freezing cold? Not let you give up on your tennis? Well, I got my coach, Rob. You can get your coach, Rob, at Play Your Court. You can find over 27,000 players out there. Coaches and playing partners, all at playyourcourt.com.